or in their vehicle. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Me too. Well, right now in central Ohio, we've been watching for a beautiful sunrise and more sunshine and warm temperatures. Right now, the view not looking bad at all with our Window Nation tower cameras. We've actually been watching some of the clouds clear out, and we've been seeing that perfect combination of clouds overnight, helping to keep in some of the heat from yesterday, and now some sunshine just helping to really bring up the temperature. In fact, temperatures across the board a lot closer to our normal highs this time of the year than those average early morning lows. And that means here in Columbus, we're just one degree shy of the 70 degree mark. Similar story up toward View Cyrus, where a few clouds have been helping to keep in the heat for you. And then as we work our way down to the south, that clearer sky dropping us down to as low as 60 degrees in Athens. And that number still about five degrees above what you'd expect for this time of the year. First thing in the morning Now, naturally the sunshine plus a bit of a southerly breeze. It's going to combine to bring us right back up toward the 90 degree mark. And this is actually going to be the first time that Columbus officially hits 90 degrees. We were really close on Sunday hit 89 and you'll notice all across the board upper 80s to right around 90 as well. Now while this is normal to start seeing those 90s as as soon as June rolls around, this is a little bit earlier than what you'd expect. So June 10th, actually that normal time that we hit 90 degrees plus, but we have seen 90 degrees or higher as early as April 25th. Now this was way back in 1915. And again, today thinking that we're going to be seeing that 90 degree mark for the first time. Now one thing that's going to be putting a pause on this big warm up is going to be more cloud cover that moves in later on tonight and into first thing tomorrow morning. Now what we could see a spotty shower or two by tomorrow's morning drive. The main event is actually going to be moving in tomorrow afternoon ahead of a cold front. So it'll be tomorrow afternoon that you want to make sure that you have the rain gear ready to go because we'll be watching for this line of showers and thunderstorms sticking around not only throughout the lunch hour, but through the evening drive as well. You'll notice from about noon to six o'clock, most areas just kind of getting hit with one round of rainfall after another, and it really won't be until after sunset Wednesday night that that cold front officially pushes out and will be left behind with drier and cooler air. So today, not only will it be the first time that we see 90 degrees, but we're looking at the hottest day of the year so far and the hottest day of this next week. That chance for widespread showers and thunderstorms. Again, that's moving in throughout tomorrow afternoon and the cooler air behind it finally making it feel almost more like the beginning of May. You'll notice mid to upper 70s by the end of the week and working our way right back up the thermometer as we approach Memorial Day.